Alright you guys, what's up? My name is Simply Platano and I wanted to start a new well not start, I wanted to do a different type of video for today because I think this is a very serious issue and you know I didn't want to talk about it at first because you know I didn't I didn't think it'll go on for this long. It's been going on for like I think almost it's been going on for a little over a month now. Probably probably almost two months now. But as you can tell from the title probably I'm gonna talk about the Vic my McNot I'm so sorry, I can't pronounce names that well. McNog not Vic. <laughs> but <laughs> keeping the video serious, I just wanna so far talk about it and why this is kind of a scary situation for for me in my opinion. So to start things off, it first started out with a couple of complaints. Um some females was coming out saying that, you know, like they felt they they got sexually assaulted by Vic. You know, like he was just being a creep, like he was like hugging and kissing girls with, without their consent. Which I mean, I guess it can make people uncomfortable, but you know, if if, if Vic is known for like hugging and kissing people at conventions and get-togethers and whatnot, it's kind of like why would you assume that he wouldn't just do it with you? That's how he shows appreciation. And I mean, I guess it's a little too much. You know, the kissing on the cheek. I guess it's a little too much. But, you know, like, it's just how some people show appreciation. At the end of the day, you know, we, we help these people get to the position that they are. So, a few days after it was, after, you know, the complaints came out, you know, people that it was a little, it was a little sus, sus la, 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 I'm sorry, I can't speak. People was questioning that it was a little suspect, that, you know, they, they're coming out with these, they went as far as to say, like, rape, that he raped. I, I believe there was, like, a rape, um accusation and also like there was also like sexual harassment accusations as well and people find it a little suspect that like no one was filing a police was a police report and you know to me is to me as well like, i did look at it a little sideways i'm like i mean if y'all really got raped like why are you going to twitter out of all places you know like I mean, I'm not a woman, you know, I can't understand how, what it feels for that to happen, and I pray to God no one ever goes through that, you know, but, you know, like, I, I guess they just wanted support from, like, other people, but at the same time, it is a little suspect that they, all this time, you know, they came out and, you know, they're, they're attacking the people defending Vic, they're getting attacked themselves, and there hasn't been a police report at all. You know, I find that a little a little weird. And then Monica, Monica Real, the voice of Boma, she came out of nowhere, you know, posting. At first she posted a a, a picture from Instagram that was like I support I support survivors. You know, people was like, Oh, I find that so I find that I'm like I'm disappointed in you. You know, I expected better from you. There's like no evidence to say that he did. And you know me, I believe you're innocent until proven guilty. But at the same time, it's like, okay, like right now, right now, it's like, okay, so no one has came out like really real evidence that like Vic actually did something like it, like he's this monster that everyone's saying, which, you know, if someone actually does come out then I, I wholeheartedly go with the kick Vic side. I'll be like, yeah, send him to jail. Like if he actually did something, send him to jail. I, I don't support that kind of stuff. I don't, I don't like I don't like that whole hurting women side, but at the same time, I don't support that whole, that whole, like, the second a woman comes out saying, oh, this person raped me, like, he gets fired and there's a shitstorm attacking him. It's like, oh yeah, I forgot to say that, well, fun, he got fired from Funimation and from Rooster Teeth because of these accusations, which I still find weird because it's like, it's just accusations. I would have understood if they just suspended him, but okay. But back to Monica Real, she came out supporting the women, people questioned her, and Monica was pretty much, you know, she was defending herself and all that, you know, not the most professional way, but at the same time, you know, if you got a bunch of strangers attacking you, it can be irritating. I don't blame her for getting mad, but eventually, she came out saying the reason why she's defending the victims is because, is because you know, she said that. Vic actually assaulted her in some way herself. I don't really remember if it was a sexual assault or is it just like he kissed her or something. I don't really, I don't really remember. I remember um they came there there was like a uh, interview with Vic that the paperwork was released and he was saying like oh he just kissed the he just kissed someone like they blocked out the names but 
you know, he said like he just kissed someone, and they didn't like they didn't, they wasn't with it because you know they, they, like they were both technically cheating or, or something like that. So you know, and then they twisted the truth to be like, oh, he assaulted me, or like he he touched a girl on her lap, like a woman that he worked with on her lap or something, and she was like, oh. I don't like that, and he immediately stopped. It was something like that, I don't really remember how, but I will link my sources in the description. And then eventually someone said, you know, they knew for 14 plus years, but they didn't say anything, they, they, they was hoping and praying or something for Vic to change. You know, that's also very questionable in my opinion, because it's like, bro, if you know for 14 plus years, isn't that like... I don't know what the I don't really remember what the crime is called. I'm forgetting everything right now. I just came out of I just came out of my class today, so forgive me. <laughs> but isn't that like being isn't that like technically being an accomplice? Like I mean oh my god, there's traffic outside. <laughs> but you know like now these car horns are are distracting me. But anyways, it's like you know like you see someone getting murdered. I mean, I guess that's not the same thing, you know, seeing someone get murdered. But, like, if you know someone has a tendency of, like, abusing women and whatnot, I would have understood if it took you, like, a few months to come out, because, you know, that is a pretty scary thing to come up against. Like, someone who's not afraid to hurt other people, you know, that that's kind of a scary thing, especially if it's, like, someone that's stronger than you. You know, I can't understand. It's a scary situation, but it's, like, if you know for 14 plus years, man, you, you gotta speak up, man. You can't wait 14 plus years to finally say something. It's, that's questionable in my opinion. Eventually, Chris Sabat and Sony Strait, I believe that's how you say his name, they came out defending Monica. One of them even went as far as to say, like, they don't need evidence, that's their friend, they'll always support and believe them. I'm like, come on, come on, bro. Like, <laughs> we all had that one friend that you thought you knew, like, the back of your hand, and then they come out of knowing this some snake shit. Like, did that happen to me like a few months ago? And it's like, bro, you can't just sit back just you know like you know every every little thing your friend say I got your back like if your friend murdered someone you gonna be there sitting like they had the gun in their hand or they knife or whatever they got blood on them or, or whatnot and, like this evidence towards on they're saying no I didn't do it you, you gonna sit back and be like yeah she didn't do it there's evidence that she did do it but you know, she didn't do it she's saying that she did you know what I'm saying but obviously it's not the same situation so you know you can't to me it's just I'd, I'd say if I was one of them, I would just hang back, you know, stay a little quiet until, you know, like, there's actual evidence. You know, kind of like, kind of like, I'm not going to say I'm on the, I stand with Vic's side. I'm saying I'm neutral. You know, if there's evidence that Vic actually did something, then I got Vic's, I mean, then I got the, the victim's side. If there's evidence that Vic didn't do anything or the women coming out are bending the truth, to fit their agenda, then I'm on Vic's side because that's messed up. You're messing up his career. Is what was it, 20 plus year long career, 30 plus years, you know? So yeah, that's why it's so scary to me because it's just accusations and it literally ruined his career. He got fired. Even if he wins, there goes the ambulance. Okay, pass by. But <laughs> even if he does win the situation, you know, you can't return to that work, to that, you know, to your old job because it's like. You, you look back and you see like, damn, like these people really just try to destroy me like, just cause whatever. You know, I mean me, I don't know about Vic, but me, if it happened to me, I wouldn't want, even if I won, I wouldn't want to return back to that job. Cause I'ma just look at everyone like, y'all all snakes. Sean Schimmel broke his silence at some point and started calling fans assholes for threatening the people on the kick Vic side, which I do agree with him. You know, you, you, you're, there's a special place in hell for you. If you're just going around like, oh, you're against what I believe in, so f you win. I hope you're, I hope someone murders your family. Like, bro, don't do that. It's, it's not that. I mean, it, it is serious, but it, it, it's never serious enough to actually send death threats. That's like, that's like one of the few things you never want to do, you know? That, that can terrify people. It's, it's just stupid. Also, the YouTuber, the amazing Lucas. He called Sean <laughs> Sean Simmel Beta. <clears throat> it was a it was a funny situation in my opinion. 
It was like, he called Sean Schimmel beta, then Sean Schimmel was like, if I'm beta, you can always DM me. I always find, I find that funny, because it's like, bro, it's the, it's the voice of Goku. Like, he's, he's acting tough, and I was like, alright, alright, chill, chill. Okay, we got it, we got it. Don't, don't fling me off the planet of the Earth, bro. <laughs> but, uh, a few days later, maybe a week later, I don't really remember how long it's been. The, uh, the Amazing Lucas, he posted a video. You know, he got on the phone with Sean Schimmel. <laughs> And it, it turns out Sean Schimmel, like, you know, he's also finding the truth himself, so I guess he's also neutral. But at the same time, it's like, it's a little unprofessional going around calling people assholes, but at the same time, I do understand where it's coming from. You know, it's it's like, you're seeing, your, you're seeing your, your friends fighting with each other, you know, if he's friends with Vic. You know, you're seeing them fighting with each other. And then, you know, like, you see Monica going through death threats and shit, like, people like, I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a murder you, you know what I'm saying? So I understand why he's mad. Also, a YouTuber, I don't really remember his name. If I do remember his name, or if I find out what his name was, I'm gonna link it in the description. I'm gonna be honest, I only found out all this news because of two YouTubers. His, their names are um, Super Saiyan Paul and the Yellow Flash, I believe it was. I'm gonna link it in the description. I've been watching the videos lately. They actually do really good content. I'm also link the amazing Lucas as well. But going back to our YouTube, we created a GoFundMe for Vic to lawyer up. He's he's. It came out he's gonna start a lawsuit. I don't know if who. I want to say he's doing it with Anime News Network because they also went around sharing a photo of like some some girl and it was like, oh, Vic is too close to her and whatnot, or like she didn't agree to this type of photo. But she actually came out saying like, oh, they 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 just took her phone and they're bending the truth. She actually will be okay, okay with that. And yeah, I, I want Anime News Network go down. I want a lawsuit with Funimation. Actually, I'm gonna be honest. After this came out, you know, all this Vic situation and Funimation, it kind of felt like Funimation was being beta. Like they just saw all these accusations. They're like, oh no, nah, we don't want to be a part of this. So they just fired him and Rooster Teeth as well. And it's like. You know, that's that's the scary part. It's like, now it's just accusations that can ruin your career. It's like, bro, like, now I'm a, I'm a little scared. Like, accusa God forbid an accusation comes out towards me that's not even true. And then, like, I don't know. Like, I just, I just can never find a job again in my life. Like, that's the scary part, you know? <laughs> I don't even know where I'm trying to go with this. I'm really just touching up on everything. But it's just, it's scary, man. I'm telling you. Everything I, I see everyone supporting Vic. I see people against Vic. It's just it's just a it's but it's a bad situation man for everybody. And Funimation as well. Funimation they just fired him. They said they they did an investigation, but the more I look at it, it's like what did you come up with this investigation? Did you just hear like like Monica just go yes he touched me without my consent, so fire him. And then, like, they just, <laughs> you know, like, they just fired him because of word of mouth or something, you know? But with that being said, I don't think anyone's gonna like this video. It's, it's kind of a serious video. It's, it's like a whole 180 to what I usually do. But <laughs> if, for whatever case, you like this video, <laughs> please like, comment, subscribe. If you don't like this video, you know, you can leave a dislike. You could tell me to go f myself or whatever. No, I don't really care. I don't take people's words. It's not too serious. <laughs> but with all that being said, I'm going to catch you guys tomorrow with a different type of video. There goes the police in the background again. I, I really hope I can put music loud enough to mute, to like, oversound them so it won't ruin the video. Peace out. Have a beautiful day and whatnot. Love you guys.